Another the minority, I'm staying with you. Another <laughs> <Now. laughs> minority's got to stay with you. right, baby. <laughs> no one knows me. If any of you here know for a complete fact that you want to be on my team and give me 100% and you don't want nothing to do with Jens Pulver's team, raise your hand. The fuck up. I had to put my hand down by then. I was like, I don't even give a shit now. Put me on Jenny's team, BJ's team, whatever. I, just, I wish I would have never even got caught up in that mix. Yeah, that really sucked. BJ right away, so first practice, 6 o'clock. Now, you got to understand, you know, a guy like me, young guy, you know what I mean? I don't usually go home until 6 a.m. Let's do it. Let's do it. You know what they say, fortune cookies. Be What's careful that? for what you wish for, man. I just got to I just gotta avoid the brawling, like... Gave them yeah. Do it. Okay. If we tell you take you take them down. Honestly, are you gonna take yeah. them down? Okay. The one thing. Gotta listen, because we can see what's going on outside. The one we thing can he see will listen. Don't, don't, don't worry, coach. I'm gonna listen. Take him down, Andy. Where's the shot, Andy? Andy, take him down. Go now. Take him down. BJ is screaming, screaming from the corner to take him down. But the kid will not fucking listen to BJ and will not take this guy down. <laughs> After a fight, I felt really sorry because, like, I know I let some people down, and, like, that's hard on me. <laughs> Come on, man. How can you sit there and be sad in the ring? Doesn't want to listen to a word anybody says. It's unreal. He thought, let's just bottom line, he thought he was going to go out there brawl and everybody was going to hold him up and say that he's the greatest thing since Bruce Lee. Nope, it's done. Your chances were over. Everybody likes a winner, nobody likes a loser. It's done. I don't care how you did. There's no reason to be sad because you decided what you wanted to do when you went out there, man. <laughs> Disappointed that I lost, but I don't feel like a loser. Honestly, I feel like people when they see Andy Wang, they don't say, "Oh, he's a punk." He's all they say, "Hey, man, this is a warrior." I'm getting ready to train, and BJ comes in, and you can tell he's a little bit pissed off. What really gets me is that all the people who raised their hand and said they were gonna give 100%, some people aren't giving 100%, but one guy really pisses me off. Doing my best, been trying to teach everybody as much as I could, and since, since day one, you haven't been giving me 100%, you haven't listened to what we've been trying to teach you, or respected anything we said this whole time. Okay, you agree with that? You're out, you're out of here, Wang. Go, you're off the team. Go home, help them out. My immediate reaction was, wow, like, is he serious, is he kidding? And then. You know, I hear Tony and Reagan say, hey, Andy, you know, like, yeah, he's serious, you know, maybe we should get your stuff. Okay. Well, I just want to hear what he's saying. I mean, I, you know, okay. it's over. That's it. That's it. Let's go. Let's do our thing. Since after my fire, Brandon, there's been some friction between me and the coaching staff. Um, they felt like um, I didn't listen to them as much as I should have. BJ, it was not even like that, man. I apologize to all the coaches. I didn't. It's a f time, man. BJ, I mean, you can't honestly say I didn't give you 100% every day, man. I like, didn't listen been... once. I'm sick and tired of Wang, man. Freaking, it's just a waste of my time telling him every day and trying to help him and coach him when he's not going to do it. Oh, I wish you would have talked to me about it at least, you know what I mean? Like, I've been talking to you about it since day one. And that's why I apologize. I apologize to every single coach. Like a Ronin, you know, a masterless uh, fighter, you know? Like, you know, I want to fight, I want to train, but, you know, I don't have a teacher, I don't have an instructor, I don't have a team. I get down there, and sure enough, BJ Penn has kicked Andy Wang off his team. That's never happened before. You can't kick people off your team. Uh, you picked them. I've been listening from day one. That kind of stuff causes dissension. I don't, there's no sense for me to coach him. I'm here to coach, and these guys are here to learn, you know? And you know, I think BJ's kind of overreacting, but BJ is a crazy fucker, OK? And he's not going to be disrespected, you know? Andy Wang is lucky BJ kicked him off his team and didn't kick his head off his shoulders. Jens fucking talked to his team, and they all want you. So you are now a member of Team Pulver. I mean, I have no say in the matter. I mean, yeah. Um, I don't want to go to Team Pulver because, you know, like, I made that commitment to uh, BJ. I'd honor it, you know? Oh, commitments to you. You know, sure, you got to commit to yourself. Don't shortchange your shit. Yeah. You're here. There's one contract. One contract. One of you guys is going to get it. Fucking insane. He's like 
fucking him and and Han and I don't know, but you know, now he's disrespecting Jens. I'm starting to see why BJ was so pissed. I want to fucking kill Andy Wang. He's a fucking coach. Their team has accepted you. I'd fucking throw that jersey on so fucking fast his head would spin. What do you want me to do first, Coach Pulver? Oh, he, he knows I'll, I'll do well, bro, anything he has. He get out in the fucking gym. You're part of Team Pulver. First, Coach Pulver. Oh, get, he, he knows I'll, I'll do well, bro, anything he has. He get out in the gym. You're part of Team Pulver. Start working out. You're wasting his time and my time and your own time. We're here for 16 more days. Get to work. Andy 